Oh, Safo, you know, before anything else happens, yeah, I mean, come and visit, stay with me. I got a, a, a guest room off my art studio. Um, I mean, as kids, our rite of passage would be to co come from Bodrum to Cappadocia. I mean, imagine how much fun that is. It takes about seven days. We call it a walkie-talkie way of, of, of traveling. We'd hitchhike. And if a truck driver picked us up, we'd say, Bizum Talabes, you know. We're students, we don't have any money. And they just, oh, get in, kids. Um, those Seljuk forts, you, every 12 miles, you get a crumbling Seljuk uh, 13th century fort. It's like, let's see if we can get 12 miles. Then you make your camp in there and all playing in there. We'd play assassins, killing knights. I mean, I am Hashishan. I am the old man of the mountain. <laughs> Uh, try to knock me off my pile of Seljuk rubble here in the in the Han, huh? I mean, you're 11, huh? How much fun is that? And uh, you get to Cappadocia. So, I mean, fairy chimneys are free. You just move in one. You make a club out. You make a assassin play fort out of a fairy chimney. You know, seven to Konya, mm -hmm. galump, galump, every 12. You just follow the, the old ruins. You end up here. Fun, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, come on down, hang out. And I'll take you to Rhodes, too. Rhodes, Rhodes is only like five hours away. I'm a world citizen. Rhodes, Greeks, Turks, give me a break. Everybody wants to have fun. Rhodes is fun, huh? Ooh, yeah. Oh, well, then, you know, Earthman perks up. Yeah, yeah I, got a, I got a secret meditation cave in Rhodes. <laughs> let's, let's go there. Uh, well, here comes Mong Buang Trong. Uh, she's serving Safo coffee. And as she serves her, her blouse, well, it's not buttoned anyway. Uh, and Safo, huh? Oh, yeah. Got a good look at that, huh? Oh, Budding tits. Uh, innocent. Stranded. Mm. Vulnerable. Well, her labia just becomes blood and gore itself. Pussy. Wet. Bronze skin. Child. Slender. Body. No pussy hair. No wax job needed. Fresh. Innocent. And oh, she smells like fragile honey. Oh, flowers. Well, Safa smiles uh, at her. They make eye contact. And Safa smiles up to her ears. Micro bubbles of lust foam. Just wipe that off with the tablecloth. Yeah. And uh, she inquires. Mwang bang. Strong. What's the underground scene here like? Hmm. Uh, well, she starts to tell her about it, but it's simultaneously, Apostas, his eyes are getting puffy. He's exhausted, smoking hookahs with Earthman and Cleo till three, driving all night in the rolls with Sphinx. And Nasafo notices, man, you, Pasha, you look wiped out. You look like you should take the day off. And I think, I mean, myself, I'll be fine because I'll just uh, hook up with uh, Bang Chang and, uh, you know, I'll uh, hire her to be my guide, my private, all by ourselves, just the two of us, guide into the depths of the Kamakli catacombs where the Omar the dust master is biting the dust. Uh, yeah, uh, Pasha takes the day. And it's like, okay, um, you no, know, he disappears. I don't have to talk about him for a while. And uh, well, so Earthman and uh, Cleo go off uh, on their fairy chimney explorations and so it's just the two yeah and so uh Safo crosses her leg 
but overshoots her own thigh and her foot lands on the pussy of uh, Bang Trang. It's got that charming little 17th century ankle bracelet that Pasha gave her and turned her on. Huh? So, uh, you know, Oyster massages her foot. And jingy, jingy with the, with the, with the air bracelet. And, uh, well, uh, bang, trying, huh? She immediately senses lesbian vibe. Jaded, whirly demeanor of this. She is so way old, over 30. And, uh, well, Safo blinks alluringly at uh, the oyster precious child. And, uh, yeah, let's go trip together under there. Oh. Well, the Vietnamese temptress, uh, oh, she senses, mm-hmm, ticket out of Cappadocia. And uh, like all healthy teenagers, Wang Bang Tang, uh, she's on this uh, powerful sex adolescent fantasy that if she must sacrifice her slut, tramp, seductive, uh, practically virgin body, minus about 50 fucks, um, so be it. Uh, she must be a reluctant martyr. Oh, and make that sacrifice of her body to understand the cruel, wicked world just like it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I went through that too. And uh just seemed like an awful lot in my mouth. I came back with that, huh? Uh, so, I mean, uh, Mwang Bang. She doesn't really know who she is. She's so young. Uh, I mean, she might be gay. Bisexual. Non-binary. <laughs> uh, transgender. Uh, she could uh, be multiple binary. Multiple berry or strawberry. I mean, what's up? How are you going to find out? You got to experiment to learn your lessons in life. Well, so uh, she plays it coyly. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, less than coyly, move my chair over so you don't see the, the wood uh, guava railing I have. Um, naturally, madame, I know the underground scene, like the back of my butt. Uh, and the Turkish guides. Oh, yeah, I know all them. And look, we're in Turkey. They're going to be our protectors. Try to get that a little bit. And, um, yeah, I would love to get away. Okay. I mean, just for the morning, get out of here, get out of the kitchen, get hippie palms, please. Something different. Well, Safo then. She rears up. Oh, she can't see Moang anymore. Oh, uh, well, that's settled then. Oh, uh, sure. And, um, she, Bang Trang's put Safo's foot on her mound of Venus. Going around the horn. Uh, Safo, look, uh, beside herself, lust. Um, and she marvels. I gave a transcendent blowjob to Pasha yesterday. Huh? Outside of my normal, uh huh, yeah, but, you know. And look what I get today. The universe works. Oh, yeah. Wang bang, huh? I better get back to my room and get my get my gear up. Get up her. 